I improved the no RNG Austria Hungary strat and adjusted it for inflation, which will lead to us becoming non aligned, fascist, and communist, and being very kind to our previous allies. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Achievements. I'm actually on my second account, so I can actually show it off. First off, we are going to be building civilian factories because we have the Treaty of Cringen on, and that's 50% mill factory construction speed. Assign the MIO. A little bit of RT, a little bit of gun. We're gonna get one steel from, I guess, the Germans. And we are going to start off with the balanced budget. This is an improved version of the no. Headless Spider Norangi Austria Hungry strat. Uh, it's also worse than the strat from him. We're gonna exercise these guys. We are gonna create the Rook Agency. First order of business, we are going to invite a Habsburg Prince because this is the only focus that requires us to have a non-aligned party. I mean, I don't plan on switching my, what is it called? Ideology, but um, you know, just in case we get a coup for some reason. Reason. I am just gonna get the gamer guy. Where is he? There he is. Gumbos the Chuck Fav. We're gonna hire him and then we're gonna keep our PP a little bit until we can get the workhorse. Tech is pretty much just basic stuff. We're gonna get the spy. We can send him for diplo pressure into Austria. Usually there are two RNG checks associated to Austria Hungary. Number one is annexing Austria and number two is annexing Czechoslovakia. You can lower the chances of failure by getting various modifiers like reintegrating the railroads, having high opinion and then for the checks it is pretty much the same just a lot of world tension non-aggression pact if germany is doing the demands of the inland focus a bunch of stuff as well as opinion we are not gonna get this modifier but the rest and i guess like we're not gonna get these two because you can't get this one, get this one, this one, this one. But anyway. and one thing that people also usually go for is secret rearmament but i'm just not going to go for it it's 0.2 percent manpower oh i'd rather play anarchist spain again than get 0.2 percent manpower i'm not even gonna try to pronounce that because if I do then I'm gonna offend someone. We're gonna have uh, stronger monarchists for just a little bit. It's not gonna be long. We're gonna go with concentrated because we do need a lot of guns, a lot of industry early on because Austria-Hungary is just ass. We get the workhorse. We are gonna get the army of sky as well. Always happy to see army XP. Pretty much the most important resource apart from PP, you know, to get more icon and all of that. Right, we have the cringe from Habsburg. I will get non-aggression pact and I guess I will do democratic rates once right we have to do political discourse anyway because i'm not gonna wait until we get the event so if you want to uh, cheat in iron man mode you go to your paradox interactive hearts of iron save games folder under documents you copy the save you drop it somewhere boom if you later need to reload you can just copy this one and drop it in here and boom you have cheated you are the worst scum imaginable you are the worst scum in you are the worst scum imaginable yes first try for cheating in a video game. I guess I can also dock you, Shushnik. If we do this credit once, that should pretty much get us there. There we go. We took Austria. We are gonna get this guy over to Czechoslovakia. We are gonna do improve relations once. We are gonna start the restoration of Austria-Hungary. And then we can integrate the Austrian army as well. We are gonna put our troops on the Italian border just because they are Italians. Let's get the attack as well. And then we can do the non-aggression pact with Czechoslovakia that we need because as soon as we do restoration of Austria-Hungary Czechoslovakia will hate us and we're not going to be able to get the non-aggression pact afterwards. The fact that we didn't get an event does suck a lot here. We do national referendum. There we go. We're fascist. We wait one tick. We join Germany. We justify on Albania. I hardly knew her. So with that we don't have to worry about the German focus stuff because now we are part of the axis. We know every focus that the Germans are going for. We are also gonna get the communist guy because I think this whole fascism thing is kind of cringe considering Japan just started invading China. I don't really like fascism that much. <laughs> okay, I don't like fascism. Let's not say that much. I don't like fascism, period. Sucks for our pie chart. Oh god, I didn't pick a focus. Sucks for our pie chart. Then we're just gonna rush down to civilian industry. I do like the resources that you get in the civilian industry more than the few additional factories. You do lose out on the air research speed, but it's not really a big deal. Oh, we can also get Bald Attack and Officer Corps. Don't really have to worry about the Guns Danubius, because there we go, that should be enough. We're not gonna build a navy. For the love of your mother, Please shut up or knock on wood because we're fucking hungry. And just because this guy wants some toy boats to play with, I'm not gonna bother with it. We need to stack up some PPE for the war once Albania war 
start. So I will do just that. Okay, we only need manpower. That's fine. Let's turn you all into the Glock 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 Glock. You can become the Schnelle Division. That one is cheaper. And I think I'm fine with the Altmiergers. Yeah, the Altmiergers are very nice. Resources are looking fine. We don't need to import the steel anymore. Sadly, I do, or rather I should pick Carl. His stats are just much better. As much as I don't like to pick him, he is uh, the logical choice. So long as I don't fight over here, I guess. <laughs> And if you didn't get that reference, you should subscribe. The Albanian justification is ready. I will definitely not make a save right now. We declare war on Albania. Italy joins them. Who would have thunk? Oh no, secret rearmament was bypassed. I guess we will have to go to limited conscription because we can't get war economy right now. Let's get the planes over here. There's not a whole lot on the Italian front. So I am just gonna do this small little attack. You pin here. You guys go here. I'm gonna keep you here. Here. We are gonna call Germany in. It's a little bit risky because Germany can get Wasco. I still think it is worth it. It just makes things much smoother, much less complicated. Oh, 14 divisions from Germany. Very nice. You can keep them in the back lines if you want to. I will send them to the front. If you use them, Germany gets war score. This tank is attempting to flee. I'm gonna pin. We're gonna take half of you guys. You can go here. And let's do this. And let's take these ports. Let's get a few guys of you in here. A few guys go here. Nice, we got this one. Just quickly close up this encirclement here. And that is pretty much the Italy war. Just a little bit of snaking, a little bit of pinning. Actually, we need, do need con... What? How do we need convoys? My brother in Christ. We don't even have a port. I guess the game is trying to send convoys here via Germany. Ooh, we can make a very fun front line here. At around February or something, you stop doing a focus and then you just keep an eye on Germany. We do protect Czechoslovakia. We'll see if that works out. That should work out. If it did not, then it's just because I was too focused on the war. Completely forgot what I was doing. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna make another small encirclement here. And then we can also start working on mill factories because we don't have cringe on anymore. Oh, and we got the annexation. Very nice. If we didn't, then I would have to reload. Germany gets a war goal now, but they can have their war if they dare. So let's just get everyone in the front and then I'm gonna auto the rest. Actually, wait a minute. Don't even have to auto. Let's just do two pushes here. Come on, guys. Don't just desperate defense every single time. You're being cringe. Now that we've broken through, the game is won. There we go. The entire army is stuck up here and we can just walk into Rome. Don't even have to attack up here, but <laughs> this is just for good measure. All right, we transfer all the territory that we can. Very nice. Our Italy is very strong, very big. Good genes, as one might say. So I'll just take the bottom. Sadly, Italy still owns the Libyan desert, but we own everything else. One thing that definitely sucks now, that we will have to annex Italy in order to get their navy, and then we'll have to release Italy again. Really not a fan of that, but it is what it is. We're just gonna build a fuck ton of mill factories in Italy. Right, we're out of the war. We can get war icon now. Everyone gets turned into the infantry. We train these guys and I will pump them up as well. Engineers, support AA. Boom. Yeah, I don't really care about the gun. Let's get better aircraft tech or rather <laughs> let's get aircraft tech in general. Yay, we got North Transylvania and sadly we can't claim Transylvania anymore because now we're in a faction with somebody that owns North Transylvania. It's us. We own it. We're gonna get the next resource slot now and then we're pretty much done with our focus tree. There's not really anything interesting down here. We can demand the right to rearm. I guess we have rearmed already, but maybe Paul Thie thinks differently. He is a gamer after all. And there we go. Germany is going for war with the USSR. Why are they doing this? Because they don't have Czechoslovakia and Austria, so they don't have enough manpower for Danzig or war. Bummer. Who could have seen this coming? Certainly not me. Eggman might have. I don't really have business with Germany anymore. Not gonna upgrade the gun because that one... Steel. We don't have steel. Bad. There we go. Bumped Italy. That just gave us a casual 40 mil factories. I guess one thing I can also do is just get like 50 Schnelle Divisionen. There we go. Poland joins the common turn and we are gonna immediately deploy the horses. Yeah, I'm gonna join the war. But not for you, Hitler. Immediately move out, everyone. We also have the entire Red Army behind us. And there we go. A big chunk of the German army is occupied in the east now. Oh, that's a lot of divisions in Stettin. They all attempting to leave. And I don't think we really need the horses anymore. I will send them down here just in case Romania joins. There we go. 
Yeah, I guess I'm also gonna start justifying on British Malaya already. Actually, wait a minute. You're not part of the Allies. Let's go for the Dutch East Indies then. All right, we annex Italy before they get stupid PowerPoints. Sucks that the Soviets got so much, but honestly, it doesn't really matter to me. Bigger navy, better person. Just make sure that everything has been annexed here. Well, ah, I should have puppeted Jeremy. I forgot about it. Anyway, Willem's half into Newcastle. I'm just gonna dump divisions here. If the Allies want to take Italy, then so be it. I don't want to bother with all of these ports here. Okay, then. Next order of business. Stack up our navy to make Horthy happy. The fact that Belgium is not part of the Allies does suck now. Because I feel like we are not gonna make it then. And, yep, that is the big problem. The fact that we have to occupy Germany. It's just sucking so much manpower. The Association of Autonomous States. That is not a good country name. It's like calling yourself... I'm not gonna say the Union of Socialist Republics. That's, that's a good name. I would take that name if I could, but you already took it, Stalin. Should have declared one Belgium, man. Because now we're definitely not gonna make it before the Americans join. Hirohito just declared one Yugoslavia for no good reason. That's gotta be a tag typo. Why did I go for the Dutch East Indies? It makes no fucking sense whatsoever. I will immediately call the Soviets in. They might be able to do something funky here. Should have sent someone into the airport here, honestly. Okay, we have landed. Let's deploy two stacks here then. You guys just move randomly across England and then force battle plan attack to make sure that we capture land before too many of the British arrive. That would be dreadful. A British person. Oh my lord. That's another one of those way too messed up battles for the British Isles. I don't like it when these happen. Yeah, I'm just gonna see if we can snipe with these guys. Just expand as much as you can. Nice. We did take London. Very nice. We'll probably lose it in a minute. And we also have to be careful that we're not getting navally invaded here. That's always the biggest weakness. At least with my invasions of England. Okay, the UK is out. We got another achievement. Oh, the Soviets have pushed a little bit into France. But as I said, I don't really care about Italy. You know what? I will see if we can blitz through Belgium. We don't have the trucks for it, but we could try and just make pushing infantry work. And I will turn you into the wasp, if I can find it. I want my NATO symbols back. There is the wasp. Please don't attack the allies, Japan. Well, yep. I guess we have to invade America. Thank you, Japan. I guess one strategy I can employ in the future. I just invade Japan myself. That way, America will never join the allies. Wow, my planes are so good. They are dying without any enemy attacks. Goodbye, planes. That project is useless. All right, then let's get one refinery for 70 days. Sadly, it is worth it. Stalin, are you gonna do anything funny? Oh god, you already have done. Yeah, fuck. Why did I say anything? Yes, we're getting all of the dockyards from the UK. Now I just need to invest in naval tech again. Convoy rating, please. And I'm also gonna get bathtubs soon. <laughs> That's the only way I can break the stalemate. Investing into a navy as Austria-Hungary. Kind of wish. I didn't give up Italy right now. Oh well. All right, I'm gonna get another collab government on France and I think I'm gonna call it there. The last one will be too expensive, really. Right, we can probably switch all to light tanks now. I assume we have enough. Nice. Very nice. I did not expect that at all. Turkey joins us. In that case, I am honestly fine with building some motorized for Africa would be very nice. If we needed more, we could also always just go down to limited exports. But I'm fine with this for now. Actually, do we... Are we all exporting our rubber? Yeah, I think for that it's fine. Right, let's give you the better torpedoes, better engine, and a snorkel. We don't switch to the 44 submarine hull because that one is much more expensive. We need chromium for that and one more steel. No, I hate it. All of these submarines that we built were destroyed because we don't have a dockyard on the mainland. That should work though, right? Yeah, they are immediately getting assigned to the task force. I could get mill axes and just deploy units in Japan so Japan doesn't capitulate. And I don't even think that's that bad of an idea. How are Belgians here? Why are you not at war with Hugo? I don't really want Hugo to fall into the hands of the allies. So let's get mill axes, please. And then let's see if we can protect it like this. No, we can't. The Belgians, they're blocking us. <laughs> We have to use mechanized to push here. All right, next tech is Marines, and then I'm gonna see if we can help Japan take out the Indies. The one game action that you shouldn't take. 
Why did you declare war on Japan? Japan of all things. We need them right now. Spain join. Okay. Blitz. 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 Yes. This war is so messed up. It's just a Thunderdome. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Woohoo. Haven't seen numbers like that for a while. Yep, the rating down here is very important. Ah, the allies are just not having a great time right about now. The UK Air Force will be gone in a minute. The French Air Force will also be gone. And the, yes, 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 yes. Very good. Next order of business, I think I'm fine with getting a collaboration government on the US. And for that one, I'm gonna go balls to the walls. I'll take your entire stock, even if it costs me my entire economy. Why? Oh, right, because of Spain. I was like, why did Japan land in the Congo? There we go. Let's just put up the cast here. Oh, look at this. It's no contest. They're just penetrating here. And it's not the cast that's doing the penetrating. We don't have many planes here, so was about expected. That was way too simple. Oh, <laughs> uh, I love peace conferences, man. Why is the US not in here? But I'll definitely take it. That should be... What do we need? I, it, it should be everything for the achievement. Niederschlesien and Oberschlesien. Are you assing me? What? What do we need Schlesien for? Why does Poland get the Maginot? Oh! <laughs> What in the world? Actually, we do have the Bahamas. Do I want to invade America just yet? Call me insane, but I think I will. I shouldn't have looked at Africa. This world is such a mess. <laughs> Why is Iran pushing into the Soviet Raj? Perfect. That's how I like my naval invasions. We, of course, also need some garrison divisions here. Sadly, sadly we do. We're gonna declare war on China. I shall call... Can I call Turkey in? Okay, you join, and then they're gonna call the AI in as well. I didn't plan with the Soviets not joining against China, but uh, that's probably just because they don't have units on the border yet. Oh, fuck! Mexico's already in the Allies. <laughs> I just wanted to cut off Texas here, but it doesn't really work. The same with Canada. Nah, oh, shit. Third Bulgarian Empire. Oh, God, I'll have to clean up the Balkans. Saying this looks like a mess is an understatement. Looks worse than historical. Oh god. Be very careful here. The Soviets are genuinely not allowed to take a single tile. Fuck, Poland is pushing from here as well. Let's see, can I give up something? I could give up Detroit. That should give the Americans a little bit of surrender progress. Why is there capital in Hua? Why did- why is there a single Polish horse here? Okay, that look- that sounded great. I hate this game. I didn't get my collaboration government again. That sucks so hard. I'm genuinely just gonna release the US. I can't afford to garrison all of this. I will release Singapore and all that as well though. Just because then we can keep them out of the war with the Soviets and then they can't get all of the rubber here. The Soviets have 10,000 planes now, as well as the borders, man. Why did you get to keep Alsace? Can anybody explain this to me, please? Ah, you know what, I'm gonna release the UK. I'm gonna release Italy. I'm gonna release France. Screw it. We just halved our economy. I lost like 40 dockyards as well. At least I can get garrison support from all of my puppets. And you guys are just making sure that the Soviets are not getting any resources from down here. Stop training. Smell you later, Stalin. Can I join? Oh, I could join Japan. Which will also call me into a defensive war against the Soviets. Very nice. It gives us war support. Oh, that's just like... This is gonna suck now. All right, let's immediately knock out Germany. The Soviets have dared getting their planes in here. It will have been a mistake. And yep, oh, we're just taking out so many convoys. The Soviets might have rubber, but they don't have access to it. Because it's Italy, I will start working on annexing them already. Just so we're ready if they ever demand independence, we can just annex them immediately. Then I won't have to keep an eye on what focus they're doing right now. And I don't want to call them in. You know what? I shall become the leader of the co-prosperity. Oh god, I'm out of fuel. America, it sucks that I have to do this, but I do have to do this. Yeah, they are pushing us back a few tiles at time. It is costly for them. The biggest upside for us will just be that they are out of planes now and they don't have rubber supply. So we should be able to push in just a minute. I think that's the rest of the Soviet Air Force. Very nice. Poland, 1 million damage. Soviets, still 7 million. All right. They want to grind, then they want to grind. I don't blame them. Did the Soviets stop attacking? You know manpower? Oh god, the Soviets are 
Down to zero manpower, okay. There we go. Poland is out. That is completely messed up. Close the encirclement here as good as you can. It's crazy that Stalin doesn't bump his conscription now. He might be out of PP. Oh, can we can we do the, the funny thing? Yes, we are Austria now. Yay, we get... Actually, that's super good. All of the cores that we just got. Plus, I'm sure we can get the Romanian oil. We can convince them. How the fuck? Oh my lord, no. Why, is, why are they in the war now? That is very fun and cool. <laughs> Wait, why do I have Olaf Scholz as a general? I don't think he's that old. Bro, I fucking hate puppets. They're so useless. Every single time I get a puppet, it's, it's just causes problems. Italy, any fucking time I do something with Japan, America now, Germany, Denmark, Italy, Italy. Sorry, Romania, I was looking at America. Can you not place 25 divisions in Washington while your country is being ravaged? Literally by Russians and Nazis. Where's the bomber? Where's Waldo? Oh, the nuke never arrived. I can't be trialed for war crimes this day. Bro, this is like Kaiserreich. A six-way American civil war. Bro, you... Okay. I would have been so miffed if these guys were just encircled. Truly inconvenienced. I don't give a shit. I'm gonna nuke Moscow. Piss the fuck off. These two, I don't need more than that. Yeah, America, I don't care. I was so close to annexing them. But France, you're not gonna be so lucky today. Fuck this stupid ass bullshit game. I will never play Hearts of Hunt forever again. And if you enjoyed this video, you can watch this video where we... <laughs> where I... Oh, Jesus. Where I made a mod that snaps half of all countries at the start of the game.